Uh, hello guys, my name is Shivors. Today I'm going to show you a macro that allows you to boost up on the barrels on B. So, uh, normally you will either have to have a teammate to press you against the barrels while you spam jump, or you basically you uh, you spam crouch jump in hopes of getting on top of the barrels. But with this macro, you can always do it consistently. Just aim slightly at the middle of the M and press the macro key and press the and press W. And you always get up there, and it's pretty easy. Now I'm going to take you through the process of setting up the macro. I use Logitech, so obviously I'm going to use Logitech G Hub. But if you use something like a Razer, you use Razer Synapse. If you use a HyperX, use HyperX Ingenuity. So you click the mouse driver. You click uh your own mouse. You click uh assignments. Macros, set up new macro, and you can name this whatever the hell you want. Now for the type of macro you want it to, uh, to repeat on press. Obviously it works on switch, but it's rather inconvenient, so you want to use this. So um, now you have this thing. You want to record your keystrokes, and here's the thing. You want to. Press your crouch key and space key separately. If you press them together, it's not going to work. So, uh, I will press shift and space. Now I will end the recording and I'll add delays to the macro. So, the thing I need to do is to uh, shift the order of the key presses. So I want shift and space to go down, shift and space to go up. And I want as little delay as possible, so I'm going to set them to 1. So uh, for the delay, uh, if you're using 1000 hertz refresh rate on your mouse, you're obviously going to use one. You use 500, you use two. You use uh, 250, you use four, and 125, you use eight. If you use that for some reason, so uh, if you use a refresh rate that you use a delay too low for a refresh rate, that will cause problems because the keys won't register and the macro won't work. But if you set it like this, it will generally work. So save it. Uh, you have our new macro you assign to the key we want to use it on. And now we have it. Uh, in the game, press this key and press W and you get the barrels easily. Now with the macro being set, I'll teach you how to actually use the macro. So uh, by jumping up the box, you have an off angle over here. Because usually brimstones will smoke like this place, right? And that does not cover the crates, so you can literally just go up here and cheese them off like this. Also, uh, if you're a cypher main like me, you can do this pre-round and get a uh, and get a peck over there with this camera. You see, this is a really clear camera spot towards B main, so I can get some early info. And maybe I can rotate towards middle or A if I don't see any at B. Uh, this is also good for retaking. So normally at the B site, the the defenders defending the bomb is going to hold like this, right? So I'm going to preempt this spot over there. So uh, if you jump up there, they will not expect the angle, right? So you can clear them like this. And they have to flick up, which gives you an advantage. Also, it gives some sort of like a cheese angle towards this arch at the left. So uh, you can cheese one off as well. Also, uh, this can also serve as like something to kind of fuck up the enemy's aim. So if I jump like this, the enemy will try to track me up over here. And my teammate can swing out all the way from here. Now, uh, towards the end, I have uh, a few reminders that I have to tell you when using this macro. So, uh, if you are attending tourneys or tournaments, depending on the ruling, sometimes macros are not allowed. So, uh, you might get disqualified if you use this macro when the rule doesn't allow, so you have to be aware of that. Also, sometimes when you use the macro, it's gonna be glitchy. It's, it's like, it rarely happens, but sometimes you get stuck on the floor and you're unable to jump. Uh, also, this macro is not good for bunny hopping because you you slow down. Uh, yeah. So thank you for watching this video. 
Uh, if you have any feedback, please tell me in the comment section. If you want more Valorant contents, which I will produce in the future, please consider subscribing to me. Uh, with that said, thank you and peace out.